After having watched the April 1st episode of Primal called Plague of Magnus, a lot of people had so many questions. One of the questions that we all had included myself was, how the heck did Fang survive? Last time we left off with Fang and Spear's adventure, Fang was in a really bad way. I mean, it was horrible. One of the most heartbreaking and badass episodes ever. Everyone thought she was dead. With how brutal the show is, nobody really even knows if like the main characters are safe because it's called Primal, it's not called Spear and Fang. And I can totally see the story being more centered around Spear, the caveman, rather than the dinosaur. Well, as I sat and thought about it, I realized that this probably is not totally canon. It was released on April 1st, so it's probably something they did as a fun yet gruesome episode, and it probably is also just an artist's interpretation of the events that were going around at the time surrounding the Rona. Also notice that in episode 5, not only was Fang on the brink of death, but she also had her legs really badly broken, specifically one of her legs. Needless to say, she would be battered and bruised or at least have a limp, and since they follow along the character so closely, Mostly, it makes sense that if they were going to pick up where they left off, that they would pick up with us seeing that exact scene. It was a cliffhanger, to say the least, so they wouldn't just start up another episode and not explain at all what happened back then. There were no flashbacks, there were no explanations whatsoever, so it totally makes sense that this is an offshoot thing, maybe this is an alternate universe, or something that they in fact had to deal with at some point in time. Honestly, what I really think about it is that it's not totally canon. You know those games or those JRPGs where you have to make choices and whatnot and you choose something else and your life takes a completely different turn and it leads you down a dead end and it says game over. I feel like this is probably a slew of incidents that took place and led to this point. However this disease came about, it happened and this is probably as one of the watchers commented and said, one other possibility to explain why the dinosaurs were wiped out. Even though Spear had that dream, there's nothing to indicate that it infects hominids or other members of Spear's kind. The disease in Plague of Man Madness does seem to be an interspecies disease, meaning that it crosses over between species. It doesn't matter if you are a different species than your neighbor, you both can be affected by that illness. Of course, the other possibility that's always fun to think about is that it was some kind of outside force aside from just a regular disease that caused zombie-like dinosaurs. I personally prefer the more natural explanation. After all, it's not too far out because we do have a real life. As a matter of fact, we have several real life examples of these creatures or parasites or viruses or fungi or whatever utilizing a host body to wreak havoc and spread. One such example is the zombie ants. In an excerpt from BBC Earth's article, it says this. Some years ago, a guy called Matt Fisher was on a nighttime research stroll through the dense forests of French Guyana when he stumbled upon a grisly sight. He said, We found the cadavers of insects that were parasitized, clamped up high to vegetation with these horrendous spore-bearing bodies projecting out of their skulls. Fisher, a fungal disease epidemiologist at Imperial College London, knew instantly what they were. They were the remains of a, in quotation, zombie ants, insects infected with a fungal parasite that controls their bodies and minds, making them crawl up plants where they stay put. When they die, their infectious fungal spores rain down on other ants below, spreading the contagion far and wide freaking gross. Something similar happens with another type of zombie parasite which uses caterpillars as their hosts. Of course you can find videos of this everywhere. A species of parasitoid wasp called Glyptopantales lays its eggs inside of the baby butterflies called caterpillars. When these eggs hatch, well you got this kind of xenomorph alien situation where the larva or the baby wasps feed on the caterpillar's bodily fluids. Like they basically eat the caterpillar out. Mind you, the caterpillar is still alive during this entire ordeal, and as the baby wasps eat their way outside the caterpillar, they then exit its body to form their own little cocoon so they can finish growing. The caterpillar is very injured during this entire process, as you can imagine, but it is still very much alive, and it basically acts as a zombified bodyguard. Anything that comes close to the cocoons, it tries to kill them or sacrifice itself. It does everything it can to keep them alive. There's this big worm thing that 
takes over the body of grasshoppers and other insects. And there's so many other real life examples of this happening where animals basically are dead, but their bodies are being used by some kind of fungus or parasite. So it's really not far fetched to believe what happened in the Plague of Madness episode. It just looks so more gruesome and outlandish. It's hard for us to believe it, but I actually think it could happen. As for the lava scene, I don't really know because at that point that thing hardly has any muscle and is it any longer using a brain that's already fried to a crisp? Surely, I remember it's a cartoon so they embellish things, but I think it's safe to say that this isn't exactly canon. Not to say that something like this couldn't ever happen in reality, but it's probably not canon or integral to the main part of the story. It's probably an alternate universe where something like this happens and of course the dinosaurs can go extinct. But what do you guys think? Do you think at some point Plague of Madness could have been earlier on in Spear and Fang's adventure? And how would they have gotten away from that? I mean, something like this, a plague is something that spreads far and wide. Or do you think there's another alternative being that this is probably all just one big bad dream? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.